Hey, science team. I was just going to do a real quick one minute video a recap of what we covered today. This first bit is my information if you ever need to get a hold of me. Um, so we talked about the green screens. I'll send an email regarding that, but I wanted to show you how we do the tall tweets real quick. So you just start a new uh, Google slide. You can get there through here. You can get there through Google using your waffle up here. New slide presentation that will work as well. But I went ahead and started to get one going so you don't have to sit there and watch me make one the entire time. But the best bet is just to start with your original one right here. Drop the artwork or imagery that you want. And remember the new trick that we learned on finding images without a background is searching with the ending PNG. And I'll show you what we can do with there. What you want to look for is the key, the checker mark in the background. So if it's white here, you click on it. See, that one's not going to work because it's white. Uh, that one's not going to work either. You might have to do trial and error. Okay, did you see how that turned gray and white? And you can just select it, drag it up here, and boom, now you have a sun. Okay, I went ahead and did it just for the sake of time. But once you have your new one, what you want to do here is you want to duplicate slide. And then on the next one, you want to move it just a little bit. Then you'll duplicate slide and you're just moving them just a little bit each time, just like an old school flip book. OK, until you have all of your slides right there. And also the original format that you guys were asking for is you go to file page setup to give you more of a square instead of a rectangle. It's the standard. Then you click OK. And then once you have that made oh, see, I should have started that way. You see how I got stretched. You will go to talltweets.com, talltweets.com. Click select presentation. Should just pull up your uh, drive from there. Pick the one that you want. And then depending on how big your presentation is or how busy their server is, this could take a few seconds or minutes. This is a bit much. Okay. All right. Uh, GIF image width. Um, I usually post mine on Twitter, so I stick with 500, but you can make it as big as you want, and it will adjust the height based on what width you do. So anywhere from 500 to 1,000 is good. So we'll go with 600. Slide dur duration. Now, if you have words on there, obviously you're going to want to do seconds. If it's doing a quick animation, you can do point seconds. So I'm going to do point two on this. And you can always go back and change this after you do it. And then you create GIF or GIF, depending on who you talk to. And then voila, there is your GIF. And you just download it. Now, everything you download from this site automatically saves it as download.gif. So if you're making a couple of them, you may want to change the name of it to whatever it is. Okay. And that should cover it. If you have any questions, please do not reach, uh, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. That's what I'm here for. Thank you, guys.